Okay, I've got my spool of Lincoln Inner Shield to 11 MP. I'm going to take this stuff out. Now, fair warning, these spools of wire will bird's nest. Those of you who have bait caster fishing reels know what I mean. Uh, so hang on to the end of your spool when you, uh, when you make this cut. And most of these spools have a little hole in them. You can just run the wire through there and that'll save you some difficulty. I'm going to take this out. Set it aside. And loosen up the drive roll. Now, our wire should just pull out. Voila. Liner. It's Harbor Freight. What do you want? So the drive roller is the motorized assembly that takes the wire off the spool and pushes it through the torque hose. And in the case of the Harbor Freight welder, it's you know, much like anything else. You've got a, a drive roller here and a tension roller here. A couple of problems with this setup. The first problem is that, like the entire rest of the welder, this drive roller was set up for 035 wire. I don't know if you can see it in there, I should probably have a better light, but the drive roller has two ridges on it. Whichever ridge is at the top is the one that is engaging the wire and driving it. The one is bigger than the other. The one is for 035 wire, and the, actually the bottom one is for 030 wire. So what I'm going to do is get a screwdriver, Take these two screws out and flip this drive roller over so that we have the proper size groove in the roller engaging the wire as it comes through. There's the two, two knurled things, and the bottom one is definitely smaller. They're labeled 0.8 and 0.6. And I can't for the life of me even begin to imagine why they're labeled 0.8 and 0.6. But anyway, the 0.8 side is for 035 wire, and the 0.6 side is for 030 wire. Uh, you know, obviously, if you were going to try and run 023 wire, you'd have to go with the smaller drive roll and just hope for the best. And likewise, if you were going to run 40 thousandths or bigger wire, you'd be going with the big side. But mostly, this machine is really only capable of, uh, well, it's really only capable of welding stuff for which 030 wire is appropriate. So I would flip it over to 030 and Leave it there and forget about it. One other modification we're going to make while we're in here. By all accounts online, this tension roller doesn't always provide enough tension against the drive roller. You can put it up here, and I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but this plastic edge right here comes up against this plastic edge, and, and there's a hard stop there. You really aren't relying on, on the spring or the tensioning mechanism. You've just shoved it together as far as it goes, and, and that's it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing off, take the tension roller off of here, and I already did this, sorry. Just grind down this face a little bit. Use, a, use whatever you want. Use a Dremel tool. Use a, use a grinding wheel, sand it, whatever. The point being, make this just a little bit thinner so that when this goes up against there, the wheel goes in just a little bit further. Now, it doesn't take much. You obviously don't want to compromise the <laughs> structural integrity of this whole thing. It's Harbor Freight plastic. I don't know how much structural integrity it had to begin with. Well, anyway, that's, that's our modifications there. Flip this over to the correct size and grind this down a little bit so that you get just a touch more tension. And now, let's go ahead and put our Lincoln wire in the machine. I 
I really don't want this to bird's nest because this is the good stuff. Well, that was awesome. See, even people who make YouTube videos have things go horribly wrong. Most people have the sense to edit it out. All right, now I need a nice straight piece of wire to feed through here. The end where you had it all kinked around the spool is no good. And in fact, this has a tendency, it wants to bend in the direction of the spool. And you will save yourself a lot of headaches if you just kind of straighten that, just the end of it out before you feed it in here. Because otherwise, when you get to the drive roll, you're going to have a heck of a time getting it in the second part of the liner. You may anyway. Okay. I've got it fed through here, past the drive roll, and it clicks right into that little slot, and it's, it's started into the liner. So what I'm going to do is put the tension roll on it and clamp that down so that I no longer have to worry about having the... Uh, <laughs> having this thing sprung loose and bird's nest on me. And it does have this wing nut, serves as a, as a lock nut. I don't know if you need that or not, but it's there.